Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. It's Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan, and I am here with my second uh, monthly plan with me in my Recollections Coiled Planner. And just to give you an idea of how my very first spread looked last month for the month of July, it was like this. But the interesting thing is, is if you looked at my August monthly plan and my classic happy planner where I normally plan, I'm, I'm of the minimalist type of um, monthly spread. I prefer to plan my uh, activities out during the week. So I simply just kind of decorate the, the monthly spread, cover high level, very high level important days. So like this month, of course, it's going to be my three paydays. Yay! August is a three payday month. I'm excited about that. And um, my bonus son coming for uh, two weeks to spend the summer with um, his dad and I. So those are the exciting things that we have going on. So I figure because August is still kind of a summer month, um, I'm going to incorporate some recollection stickers. And this is the Flock Together sticker book. So I'm going to be using stickers from here and the corresponding washi tape. So I'm going to definitely be pulling from that. And I like this toucan. So he is present in some of these spreads. So it will correspond with the stickers. So the only thing I really um, don't really care for on the recollections um, monthly spread. I feel like the boxes are definitely way smaller and it could just be me. Maybe they're not. But to me, they appear to be smaller than the boxes in the Happy Planner. And I talk Happy Planner a lot when I'm comparing recollections because as I started planning um, about a year ago, I did one full year, um, 2017, the first time in my Happy Planner. So I reference the Happy Planner a lot as my point of reference because that's what I understand. So. Um, and the purpose of me, you know, incorporating another planner into my lineup that's outside of the happy planner. So who knows? Maybe next year this means that because this, uh, layout is very similar to the Erin Condren, maybe that's something I will venture to do. Who knows? I'm not a hundred percent sure. All right. So there's Mr. Toucan. Um, I think there is some darker greens here, so I'm just going to lay this down. This is going to be pretty probably basic and straight to the point, and it probably will be a very short video, but I wanted to capture myself doing it um, as I don't think that I captured myself doing it last month. So we're just going to um, continue doing this. I'm just excited about it because... You know, I get to use a lot of my washi tape that otherwise I would be not using. So, you know, with my operation, use what I have. Um, you know, this goes hand in hand. Hand in hand. So let's see. And I think I do want to put a pop of gold in here. Um, I don't really want to put this thick gold, but I'm going to use it. It's a great opportunity. And since August is our last official full month of summer, might as well. Why not? I think I'm going to put it down here. No. I'm going to break this up and I'm trying to see and I think I have one more that I can use. So, of course, this is not very flattering, I don't think. And is it the best way to plan my monthly? No. But the only monthly that I kind of use all of the month for is on my budget. And I solely use, um, I use the Trendsetter Planner for my personal budget because it allows me to see
see the month at a glance really quickly and I and I load everything there and then plan accordingly. All right, let us pull this up. All right. It matches, so you know. Let us open this out so I can see what I've done on this side. I'm kind of, I'm gonna move these around just a little bit. I think I should have put the gold down here, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. Remember, there are no rules to planning, no right or wrong way. Whatever feels right to you, that's what's right. If it doesn't feel right to you, then it isn't. I constantly say that I love that aspect of the planet world. You know? Whatever's right for you is right. And I'm gonna bring this one just a little bit back. I would like to try to get okay. You know, I think I like washi. I like laying washi. It's just to me, it's kind of therapeutic. And I know a lot of people they started out very passionate about using washi, and then as they continue to plan, they kind of phase out of it and rarely use it. Um, I don't think I'm going to be one of those people. I think I'm going to, and I say that now, but you know, I don't know. I, I still, I like it. I think it gives my spreads, you know, something extra. So based on that and that alone, I would continue to use it. Okay, so let's put this washi tape back in my little organizer here. And let's put some stickers down. Let's grab that sticker book. And see where we would like to put some stickers. So let's see what we have. Um, hmm, we can pop out some colors on here, definitely. So let's see if this is gonna be too big to fit in here. Well, it's almost too big, but not quite too big. It's a little bit big, but that's okay. Have that there. And let's see. Okay, this sticker says you can to can. That's cute. And I'm just going to cut it off so that it's not all so round. Let's put it, hmm, let's put it on this side. Let us see. All right, there's some cute little things in here. Here goes our friend, the toucan. Let's go ahead and take him out. We'll put him up top. Okay. And should we have him saying a little saying? Let's see. Yeah, he says, He's gonna say, it's summer, let the fun times begin. And it's got a pop of color, so that will work. We'll put that right there. All right, let's see. going to use one of these little rolls here back in coral to signify when my baby is going home 
and we'll do it like this. And let's see what we can put. What about surf, sand, and sun? Let's put that here in this column. I do need to cut that off. Yep. So let's see what we can put for the paydays. We don't have to necessarily put a payday sticker, but we could do something like this. gonna put it down here on the 31st. Yeah, I do need my little tweezers for this. One there. Do one on the 17th. Give that a nice bright color. Celebrate these three paydays. The more and more I look at this, the more I don't like this for here. And it is, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I wanna use it. I just don't wanna use it there because it's too big. Uh oh. Let's see. I don't even know if I'm gonna use it or reuse it. Hmm, it tore my little book a little bit. That's okay. Let's do. We'll put this here, and instead of that large oversized sticker, we're going to put another, I'm gonna put this gold one that's there. So, one of these gold ones, and the gold one will go the opposite way. It'll go here. think that's it like for me less is definitely more and that applies to this gorgeous spread let's see I see me in the spread just a little bit trying to get a nice picture a nice photo of the monthly spread yes okay well, that is our monthly spread for um, the Recollections Planner. And the only thing I need to do is jot down a couple of plans. So let me see if I cannot locate a pen. And I'm going to grab my Sharpie. Because I know the Sharpies can write on these shiny stickers without smearing. So. Let me grab a Sharpie. I don't mind using this red one because it's kind of the right color. And then we can use a black one there. Let's see if these haven't dried up because sometimes when you don't use them, they kind of dry up. Nope, it still works. Check out our black one here. And let's see, does this one work? Yes, it does. All right, now let us find some gold or I really like to put dollar signs on my spread. But I don't know if I have any foil dollar signs that I can use for that small enough. Small being the, the issue. So let's see. Let's 
two black and gray. Are those too big? Because the toucan is black, so we could definitely use these. All right, we're going to try these black ones and see if they're entirely just too big. I, th I think I can get down with that. I can totally roll with that. Okay, where did you go? Where did I get you from? So I am pulling uh, stickers from one of the Agenda 52 sticker books. I'll show it to you in just a second. All right. Yes, I like the black did something. It popped it out. So I'm using the Check It Off foiled sticker pack with 819 pieces from Agenda 52. So those were the two sticker books that we used to complete this lovely recollection spread. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, watching me complete my monthly spread for recollections. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up below. Um, I actually had fun doing this spread, not too bad this week. Well, I hope you have a great and productive month of August and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, Bella.